Hello everybody and welcome to my video. My name is Frank and today we're going to hack the edge router a little bit and not in a bad way. We're just going to get into some of the things that they don't really make available to us in an obvious fashion. And I've worked with the DPI feature of the router and you can add categories for blocking websites and it just seems really buggy. You know, there's different categories and if you add, you know, you block some sites, it's going to block other sites and it's kind of wacky in that regard. So I thought, well, let's find out where the files exist, where, where the heart of this thing is and maybe we can edit the things manually. So I found that and you'll need a few tools to go in there and edit it and you'll have to be root in order to do it. So I'm using WinSCP and I'm using PuTTY which I prefer for my command line interface so you could use the command line interface up here. You could use that one but I prefer to use the PuTTY. So let's get into it here. Um, what we want to do is, and what I what I want to do anyway, is use a predefined category that isn't really used that much. Now, I don't use astrology. Um, I don't see the reason for even blocking astrology sites, but that is one of the categories, and when you've done your update web proxy blacklists when you first get your router because none of these exist you would notice a bunch of categories and we'll look at those here uh, I'm gonna log in as the admin account that I had made which is not root but we're gonna get to that and in the let me just make this a little bigger here we're gonna look in the config folder be under URL filtering and it's squid guard and you'll notice when I go to into the DB which is really where all of the databases where all the URLs are it's not going to let me in there so that's why we need to do these commands here which are going to give us root access so we would first enter configuration mode now I've already done all of this. Then you would issue this command here. Set system login user root authentication plain text dash password and then put in your password here. And then press enter. And then our set service SSH allow root which I've already done and it's going to tell me that it already exists. And then finally I'm going to do a commit and then I would do a save. Okay, now that's going to enable me to use the WinSCP here and we'll log in using WinSCP which is free and I'm going to do root, put in my password and now I'm going to get a folder view of all of the files on the edge router which is much handier than trying to CD and LS your way through all of these the hierarchy here so what we want to go into is config URL filtering squid guard DB now here's all of the categories that were downloaded and processed into databases um, with the update web proxy blacklist command that I've done earlier when I first received the router. Um, none of these categories existed. So instead of going through the hoops of going into the router here and adding the firewall rule and then putting in the category and then some work and some don't, I thought, well, maybe it would be a lot handier if I could just have one file where I could put my own URLs in directly. Now that is going to require that you rebuild that specific database kind of like 
what was happening in the beginning when you ran that um, script, which is a web proxy script, actually, there's the one that processes and builds the, the database entries. So what I was particularly interested in after finding this file is the actual command that does it, because I know for me it's hung up on a lot of them, and I've, you could theoretically go in and rebuild just that one category using this command. So I've used that command just to kind of use the astrology category as my own kind of little uh, global URL blocking category, if you say, and then I won't have to use any other category except that one and add my own in. So what you'd want to do first is under service, you have to make sure under web proxy that you have your listen address set and mine's 192.168.1.1 and then URL filtering under the squid guard category you can see that I'm using astrology and my default actions allow and it's going to redirect any time it denies anything in that category it's going to redirect it to google.com so we can test that here we can go right into the astrology folder and you'll see here's the domains db file the domains is what we're concerned about this is going to have all of your actual websites that it's blocking in now I added this earlier because I'm not going to be using this astrology for astrology eventually I'm gonna just add to this and add any site that I want to block in here for me that's just much easier and then I'm gonna rebuild that file by itself and create another DB file. So to test this out, and what's nice about WinSCP is it's going to let me edit these files right on the router. So what I'm going to do is as a test, I'm going to take astrology.com out and I'm going to resave it. And you'll see down here, after I enter my password, you're going to see that it's saved it. And if we go back in, you're going to see that the astrology site is no longer listed here. Now, we can go into here and try astrology.com, if I can spell it right. And you can see that it's working properly. It's redirecting me to Google. So you might ask, well, you just changed it. Why isn't it working? Well, the reason it's not working is because you have to make a database file from that file which is what the script here actually does okay but what I'm going to do is use this command which is the same command but I'm just going to use it on one category so to do that we're going to go into and I'll start this from the beginning here we'll go right into the Putty here, and I'm going to go in as root this time. And we'll make this a little bit bigger. We'll go to 14. I'm going to log in as root. Just be careful when you're in there and don't delete anything, especially the squishfs file, because your router won't boot after that. You just have to be careful here. So we're going to go into config, URL filtering, squid guard, and we'll go into the DB folder, and here's all of our categories here. You can see. And if I go into astrology folder, and we can cat the domains file, and you'll see that there's all of our domains. So I remove the astrology.com website from the list. In order for it to work, we have to rebuild the database. So we're going to use this command here, which was found in the web proxy PM script. 
on the router right here which is what actually builds the databases and let's issue this command on the domains file in this astrology folder now you're gonna see that it has created a new database file and it started the squid guard and it's updated the database so now if I try to go into astrology here you'll see that it's allowing me in now so that is a method that you could use to just use one category maybe pick one that you wouldn't necessarily use for me it just happens to be the astrology category but you could go in and pick any one of these categories now this one is an awful lot in it I probably wouldn't use that one I was just kind of for testing purposes trying to find one that had the least amount of URLs in it and to me that's much easier because now I can just leave my edge router I can just leave the astrology um, category in there and I won't have to change anything there right here because I'm just kind of like borrowing I'm borrowing the astrology category to kind of uh, add my own now I could go in here and I could add any ups, any sites I want to as many as I want to and go in and issue the squid guard minus P minus D minus C in domains and it will rebuild the domains.db file which is what squid guard is reading from so I hope that helps you today and uh, I know that I've, I've seen a lot of people complaining how buggy and how weird and how, how the filtering is um, this works for me it may not work for you um, it certainly is a nice uh, way to understand where all of the options are coming from where all the features are coming from by going right into the heart of of the file system here so I hope that was useful for you um, maybe next time I'll do uh, I'll do a video on uh, creating a new category perhaps but thanks for watching today and uh, enjoy the edge router I personally think it's a great router um, just be careful with the root access and remember the tools that you'll need WinSCP PuTTY and you'll also need to configure your router with that root account in order to have access to the DB folder well, that's about it. Enjoy it, fellow hackers, and have a good night.